Hi everyone, welcome to Refrag. Today I am going to take you through a little tutorial and showing you how to use the Creator Studio. Now, you're probably familiar with Refrag already. Once you get to our dashboard when you're logged in, you have the Play Now button with all the familiar modes that you have probably tried before. The Creator Studio, however, is a unique one. That mode is tailor-made for you so you can create your own custom arenas and have it set with the presets you like, response times you like, and the bots placed at the positions that you want. Now for part one, we're going to launch this server and show you how to make a pre-fire arena. So we got to wait for the server to load. Now that we've loaded in, first and foremost, you probably are already familiar with pre-fire arenas. These modes are meant to have bots at preset locations for you to pre-fire at as you follow a certain path. So let's make one today where you head into long and clear out this entire area and then have a second one where you clear out B. So first what you do is you head into the dev mode so you can see game mode dev in the bottom left. In the dev mode it allows you to do multiple things. One is that SV cheats us on so you can fly across the map which makes the speed of creating arenas a lot faster and you can start using dev commands. The first developer command that you need is to add arena. As you can see it says usage add arena name so let's go add arena prefire long and you have created your first arena. So if you then go dot arenas it will say check console for output. You can see zero, which is your first arena that you've made, which is called prefire long. It says spawn zero, which means that you do not have a spawn point yet. So let us create a spawn point. Say that you want to start from doors here. You go dot add spawn. And now you have created your spawn point. This means that when you start practicing the arena, this is where you start. It says course is not set up properly. This is because we haven't set any bots yet. So let's do our first one. Say you want one standing here, holding this corner, aiming there. You go dot add bot. As you see, you've added a bot with a sight line towards the corner. If I now type dot R to try it out, you can see that the arena starts as usual. And there's the bot. Will kill you if you were not in time. And once you've killed it, it restarts the arena because you have cleared the entire arena. So let's head into dev mode again to finish this off. Like we'll keep it nice and simple. Add another bot here with add dot add bot. And one more here with dot add bot. One here with dot add bot. And one here with dot add bot. So say you made a mistake and you want to fix it. Say bot three is positioned incorrectly. You could go dot del bot and it says del bot index. The index is the number that is above these bots. So you go del bot three and bot three will be deleted. Just keep in mind, this is now bot three because the one that is higher in line will move to the lower position. So let's add this one again. See, this is now bot number four. If we now try it out with dot R in practice mode, you can see that I'm terrible at the game. So let's As you see, once you have cleared arena, you will be reset to your current spawn point. So let's say you want to head to the second pre-fire location. Once you have finished the first, you go add arena again. Let's call it B site. And you can see it did added arena B site. Now, if you type arenas again, you see that there's one on prefire long and one on B site. So we do the same thing. You stand here, you go dot add spawn. Now your spawn point has been created and let's add a couple of bots. An important thing to keep in mind is that when you create a bot, you want to stand at the position you want the bot to be in, looking at the angle you want the bot to look at. So let's create a couple just to make it interesting. And now we can try it again. If I type dot R now, it should send me to the long arena first. And once I finish that one, I can go to this one. Ooh, I am wrong. There we go. We need to be in practice mode. See how it now sends you into the next arena? Once you cleared it, you are sent back to the beginning. So this is the start and the basis of how you create a pre-fire arena. If you again type arenas one, you will be sent to the arenas on number one. If you go type arena zero, you will be sent to one on zero. So you can make any edits you want to do. And now before we finish, there are a couple of useful things for you to keep in mind. A couple of commands. We have repeak reaction. This is the reaction time of the bot. So right now it's set at 0 0.9 seconds. So as you can see, once I stand here, 
it takes 0.9 seconds for them to kill you. If you want to change that, you head into death mode, you can go dot repeat reaction 0.2. So now you have inhumanely good bots. There you go. So you can see that it starts shooting a lot faster, which very much diminishes your chance of succeeding, but it can also help you with practice. So if you want your bots to be incredibly hard to fight, you can change it with dot repeat reaction. You can also change it to say 1.5 seconds. So if you're a beginner, you have some more time to actually line up your shot and get the kill. That's one of the commands you can keep in mind. Another one of the commands is dot bot duck. As you can see, it says usage dot bot duck index. So say I want this one, number four, to be ducking. I go dot bot duck four, and it means that this guy can duck. Now, usually if you have it set at that, it doesn't mean he will always duck, but he will sometimes duck. So if you want it to be always true, you go bot always duck, bot always duck four. And now number four will always be ducking. So if you test it out again, you can see that this bot is crouching. And this is how you can change some settings to make sure that the bots are playing to your liking. If you have any other specific things you want to change about the bot, you can do so by going to our wiki, which you can find here. And if you head into Creator Studio, you can find a lot of extra commands to use to make it to your liking. So you can see that as an example, if I scroll down, you can set whether a bot can spray. So whether he will start spraying you or it will just one tap you in the head. There is weapons you can change. So you can go dot bot gun gun name, which means that you can set a bot to be using a P90 or an op or maybe a Krieg if you so want. And you have many, many more commands here that you can look at to create the arena of your liking. So one last thing before we end the video, if you are happy about your arena and do not want to change anything anymore, you can type into chat dot save and add a name. So like dot save this arena here and it will save the arena for you to come back to later. If at some point you then decide to make a change, so say you remove bot 2 and you want to update the arena, you only have to type dot update and it will give you a command you need to type to confirm. So here it's dot update Garen. Once you type dot update Garen, it will update the arena for you. So when others join, it will actually have been changed. Now, if you want to load back into your arena, all you have to do is type dot my sets. And in your console, it will load all the arenas you have for your specific map. So you can see this arena here has the ID 2034. So if I then go load 2034, it will load this specific arena. So this is a short part one of how to use Creator Studio to create an arena. This one, of course, being a pre-fire arena. Make sure you come back for the next one so I can show you how to make a crossfire arena. Crossfire is a mode where instead of you having to always swing the bots, the bots will be swinging you instead and you need to be very fast and twitchy in your response to make sure you kill them in time. That is all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.